Hello, my name is Grace. Today I'm going to read the Bible story. The Bible title is God's Man Samuel. Twenty chapter one Samuel two to one. Hannah was crying and praying in the temple. She didn't have any children. Her husband Elak was a loving husband, but like another wife, Penina was cruelly to Hannah. <sniffs> Hannah, help me, God. God, give me a child. If you let me, I let me have a boy, baby boy. I will offer him to you. The person first of the temple, Ellie, saw Hannah was drunk. Hannah, you have to quit drinking. Hannah said to Ellie, I am not drinking. I am praying because I am so sad. The person said to Hannah, God, Go in peace. God will answer your prayer. Hannah was not sad anymore. God really gave her a son. God really gave her a son. Sorry. Hannah was very happy. She named him Samuel. Samuel means God answered my prayer. When Samuel was a little boy, Hannah took Samuel to the temple. I will give this child to God. I can help him to serve God. Yes, I will help him, said Ellie the person. Hannah thanked God for Samuel. Samuel lived in the temple. He helped Eli and served God. Samuel obeyed God. He made God happy. He made the people happy. Hannah and Elika came to the temple of to worship God. Hannah brought some a jacket for Samuel. They wanted Ellie to bless them. Bless us with more children. Ellie prayed for them. God blessed Hannah with three sons and two daughters. Samuel served God in the temple. He heard a voice calling him. Samuel, Samuel, God was calling Samuel. God spoke to Samuel everything God ha said happened. Samuel gave message to the people of Israel. He was a special prophet of God. Twenty one chapter David the brave boy. Samuel 17 Come out, said Goliath the giant. Come out and fight with me. The Israel were fighting with the Philistines. Goliath was the strongest Philistine soldier. King Saul and the Israel soldier were scared. I will fight with Goliath, said David. David brought for food for his brothers. They were the soldiers and king Saul's army. David was mad because Goliath was making fun of God's army. You are 
and young boy. Goliath is a giant soldier. He said King Stahl, I protect, protect my ship from the lions and bears. God will be with me. King Saul gave his armor to David, but it was too big and heavier to wear. David stood before Goliath. He held the stones and sling. His hand, Goliath was upset to see a young boy. David, David, stones and sling, you do, do you think I have a puppy? Like, because, like, um, he has said, like, do you think I have a puppy? Because, like, he's a giant and very, I remember, but one little boy came with only with stone and sling, so he was thinking that, why did you... Come before you in the name of the Lord. You make fun of God Sammy army, didn't you? I will let the word know that God is alive. God doesn't need a start or a spare, said David. David put a stone in the sling. He let the stone fly. The stone hit Goliath's forehead and he fell. To the ground, David ran to Goliath and took his sword. David won. You are a very brave boy, David, said King Saul. David was really brave. Everybody said David is brave, but David knew God helped him. <laughs> Good friends, David and Jonathan. Samuel 18. King Saul saw David defeat the Philistines' army. King Samuel knew God loved David, loved God. King Samuel knew David was a was brave. Jonathan was the king. King Saul's son. Jonathan loved God too. Peace. Prince Jonathan liked David. With all his heart, Jonathan loved David as he loved himself. Jonathan promised David that he will be his best friend. Jonathan has many nice things. Jonathan gave David his best sword. Jonathan also gave David his barrow and arrows. Jonathan gave his nice jacket. This will let the people know that you're my friend, said Jonathan. Thank you for giving me your precious thing. Thank you for being my best friend, said Daniel. David. David became a horrible general of Israel. He won so many battles. The Israel sang for David. King Saul, King thousand, but David King, ten thousand. This made King Saul mad 
and jealous. King Silk tried to harm David. Jonathan, but Jonathan helped David run away from King Saul. Yesterday, I read the Bible story. Did you like it? And next time, I will read The Wise King Solomon, King Street, 23 chapter. Yes, I am going to read the Bible story. Next time, then, bye! Thank <laughs> you.